Hi, this is Teresa with Color Crazy. I put together a quick video with tips on how to locker hook a holiday wreath. Let's get started. To get started, you want to begin with your canvas nicely framed according to the pattern, and then you want to start pulling up loops around the center. And you're going to be pulling up loops that are about an inch high, an inch and a quarter, maybe an inch and an eighth, a little over an inch high. It doesn't really matter. You just want some longer loops. Now the great thing about this is you do not use any locking medium. You just pull up long loops all the way around. And to begin, you're going to be locker hooking around the center in three rows. There you go, just like that, about an inch to an inch and an eighth, something like that. And you pull up loops and make sure you pull them up long. They don't have to match. This one's a little longer. That's about an, an inch and an eighth, and that's fine. And you just keep doing this all the way around. So this is what it looks like when you've completed one row around the center, and then you just go around two more times. Here's the crimson colored wreath with all of the loops pulled up, including the accent row on the outer edge. And I want to show you how to do the inner row accented with the hand-dyed fabric strip plus the metallic or pearly raffia. And you want to hold these together, and you're going to be pulling up loops for the inner accent row. And the loops have to be about an inch and a quarter, just above, so that they kind of um, are long and right above the crimson loops of cotton. Just like that. Oops. Okay, so something like that. That's a little long, so you can adjust with your hand. And you keep doing this and going around and filling in the second accent row around the wreath. This is what your wreath will look like once you've pulled up loops for your two accent rows and it's fully hooked. As you can see, not all the squares are hooked, but that's okay because it's nice and plush on the front side. And I want to show you something. This is optional. You can, if you like, pull up all your tails and create a little more texture on the front side by pulling them up. And then you just trim them. And you can do this with all your tails. Like I said, it's optional. I kind of like the added texture. Now I also want to show you how you can make your loops kind of interspersed with the crimson loops, especially the accent loops, so that it looks more evenly distributed. You want to give your loops a tug and pull them toward the inside, working on the inner row, and just give them a tug. You can actually stretch them a little bit if you like. Just like that. You also need to work on your outer accent row and just give the loops a tug to disperse them nicely toward the outside. And if you want, you can also take the raffia and use your fingers to spread it out a little bit just, just to show a little more glimmer. You don't have to do this for every single one, but this is also optional. I kind of like it to look a little more pearly and shimmery. I want to show you how you attach the jingle bells. You thread through a fabric strip through the back of the jingle bell and you use your locker hook to thread it through the body of the wreath. And you just thread it through and pull it toward the back. First one end. Like that. And then you use your hook again to feed the other end of the strip through. like this, and then you thread it through again and pull it toward the back, like that. 
and then you just tie it on the back and you can tie a knot add a drop of glue if you want extra security and you do this with the rest of the jingle bells making sure they're nicely spaced apart so this wreath is finished and to accent it I wanted to use layers of bows I took the satiny ribbon and did two layered bows there and some raffia and some twine and I layered them one on top of the other and I really like the look so to do this for your wreath you just want to place it and make sure you like the placement and then you layer them by gluing them one on top of the other with your quick grip quick dry adhesive the kits for these holiday wreaths are available on colorcrazy.com you can make them in various sizes for more information, visit colorcrazy.com.